morning guys and um, welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. Morning. We're on our way pike fishing and um, we was going to go and do a little bit of sea fishing yesterday weren't we but yeah. uh, there's not much about at the moment and uh, the weather wasn't that great. Sun's shining today and we've also got our canoe on the top of Dylan's car so <laughs> we'll uh, head to the river and get set up and then we'll get back to you. See you in a bit guys. Absolute glorious morning. I don't know if you can quite see that heron on there. Just there on that branch there. Might fly away when we get near him, but. Quality, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Hope he's not licking all our fish today. <laughs> Just sitting there watching the whale go by. Beautiful. The rivers are proper flooded today, isn't they? Yeah, it's quite murky actually. We we're sort of hoping it's going to be pretty clear to see the lures, but we might end up having to do a bit of dead baiting. We've got some um, heron in the front there with Dylan, so we'll go up the river a bit more and uh, we'll uh, make a decision on what we're going to do, I think. But lovely day though, Dylan. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of flicking about with the lures just on this river. Uh, we're gonna, as Dad says earlier, it is a little bit murky for the lures, um, but see little like nooks and crannies like this are perfect for a bit of dead baiting. So we have brought some heron with us. That's what I'm doing now, Dylan, actually. Just setting one up now, so. Just getting one sorted. Um, we're gonna try like a few little nooks and crannies like this um, and see, see if we can pick anything out. So this is what Dad's done. He's got a little uh, tiny 20 gram lead weight there, uh, taken down to a pike trace, which I've made up, which is a circle hook at the top, treble in the bottom, just hooked up there in the herring. So Dad's gonna give that one a try. Did you um, make them, you say, Dylan? Yeah, made so them. So if I lose a fish, then it's your fault, yeah? It is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> just if in doubt, blame Dylan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Okay, so I've currently got my uh, piece of herring floating down there on that float. I'm just casting up the top there and letting it drift down. And what are you doing, Dad? Well, I've just literally just free-lined the herring out with a couple of um, couple of shot on there. Um, yeah, just going to give that a try. So that's right on the very bottom. Kaboom! Perfect. There goes, Coca-Cola on board. Just sitting there watching the floats in the background. On the River Stour, I don't know if we've mentioned that, have we? No, we haven't. We're on the River yeah. Stour in, well, we launched at Cataway, didn't we? Cataway picnic site. I think it's probably a couple of years since we've last done this, isn't it? Yeah, it has been. I think it's back to our Christmas special the last time we actually yeah. originally come here, but. But that, that water clarity is so murky. That is, isn't it? It's... So we've literally just changed over and dead baiting now I, don't, I just don't think a pike would see anything no might hear it whiz past but yeah that's it it's a bit it. well, all we're doing guys is we're literally just sort of drifting up the river we're sort of from down that way um, and coming up and finding little pockets like where these reed beds are and we're just sort of trotting the floats down past we've both changed over now to dead baiting because like i said the, the, the color of the water is just terrible so i think our best chance really is 
he's on dead baits. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're just coming up the river, finding these little pockets of reed beds and just, just trotting, the, trotting down, giving it sort of five or ten minutes in each, each bit and then we move on. As you can see, there's another one up there. So we'll, we'll pot her up there in a little while if there's nothing along here. And we're sort of fishing around two to three feet in depth, I suppose, isn't we, Dylan? Yeah. Um, like so again, we're on the way back, we'll do a bit deeper if, if need be, but. There's quite a lot of weed down on the bottom, isn't <clears> there? <throat> there is, yeah. There's that's a lot the, of weed down there, so. That's the problem. Well, just to let you guys know what we're actually doing and Dylan's just reeling his one in now so he can just show you a quick setup of what he's got. We've had to take the weights off of the off of the float. Normally there's a weight just underneath it to keep it, but the weight of the herring, I mean they're it's massive handy, fish, aren't they? So yeah. we might have even made a bit of a mistake in the size of the bait we're using, but we, I think we all know that pike will take is it sort of about a third of their weight, won't they? Third so of their size, yeah. yeah, a third of their size. So, you know, we're here, we're having a good day. If we catch, we catch. If we don't, we don't, we just it's lovely just to get out and Give do something a bit different as well on the canoe. That's it. It's a bit rickety, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> from what I remember last time. Uh, yeah, we have to keep sort of balancing ourselves, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. Oh dear. But yeah, we're, 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 having good, we're having a good time, so. They say Dylan's just, just done it again there and you can see it's just slowly bobbing along. I think that's probably our best chance of actually catching a fish really today. I just found a nice bend in the river, so we're just uh, going to give this five minutes as well. It's like a perfect place, isn't it, here? It is, yeah. Uh, right near those reed beds, that's where they're going to be, isn't it? I would imagine so. I mean, that, that water level is really high, isn't it? Yeah, but seriously high. I remember from last time it wasn't this high, but... I can just see my float there. Just It started off really slow on that corner. It's now picked up in the current and it's hammering along there now. Oh, well, the swans are coming. We're going to get attacked, Dylan. I think we are. She's... um flaring already. Yeah. Looking good. Get ready to paddle like a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here they come. Oh, I'm so covered in my mouth. Uh oh. I got a camera in my mouth. Oh god. Just don't move. I think they think we've got food, but. Oh. Dead silence. <laughs> Come on, go for Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> He's wagging his tail, he's alright. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, it's right. They're, gonna they're gonna follow mum, look, they're gonna follow mum. Nah, no, we're alright, I think. It's this one here, he's so inquisitive, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> ah, oh, I, I think... knew that was gonna happen as well. Yeah, I did as well. It's happened before, isn't it? They've yeah. actually attacked us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We had to use our paddles just to keep them at arm's length, yeah. you know, but wouldn't obviously hit them with, with the paddle, but <laughs> just to try and keep you. Oh, <laughs> you feel relieved, Dylan? I feel pretty relieved, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It was a close one, it was a close one. It was a very close one, yeah. Oh dear. Well, I think we're going to sort of um, head back a bit now, aren't we? And yeah. uh, we're going to sort of, I think, I think the water is so murky. And, uh, we saw a couple of kayakers um, and back up near the Weir pool, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's a lot like of weir pool, yeah. Isn't it? Like yeah, weir pool, look, yeah. Um, it's it, the water comes over there and it flows at such a rate. Well, we've only come up the river probably 
quarter of a mile and we can see already it's flowing really quickly now so I think the further up there we go uh, it's just going to get more and more sort of the current's going to be more and more so yeah it's, it's just filthy the water so mm. we're going to head back and um, we'll catch up with you when we get a bit further down the stream we might even plonk the plonk the floats in again and have another go but so peaceful isn't it it's lovely I'm just going to show you guys how uh, flooded the river is. That's the uh, pontoon that you launch your boat off of normally, but as you can see, it's uh, well under the water. So, yeah, the water level is really high. Okay, guys, well, that's going to uh, conclude this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Shame there wasn't any fish for you, but um, sometimes that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, had a brilliant day. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, been good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's nice to do something different, actually, paddle up the yeah, river. Yeah, that's and, it, and dead bait. We yeah, haven't really done a lot of dead bait. Not, we, are, no, so. we didn't have a lot of choice, did we, really? Not really, but, but yeah, there you unfor go, unfortunately, the yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing there for us. But So, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Till later, guys.